All right, so today I'm going to give a product review of some foam rollers, some stuff that I use here at home. I tend to foam roll the most at uh, work, uh, you know, during my day, and I actually teach a foam rolling class called Roll and Release with Ryan. I teach on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, some of the foam rolling videos that I'll link in the description of showing you how to foam roll your body and how to release some tight muscles are actually from that class, and I just snippet them for specific muscle groups. But uh, I got three different ones that I have here. The one uh, I really want to review, I don't have with me, but this is a standard uh, kind of high density foam roller. Essentially, this is probably the one of the more popular ones that are out there these days. What it is, is they have a, a white one, which is kind of like, almost like a, basically they, they look like flotation devices. And this particular uh, model is um, fairly dense. You know, it doesn't, like you dig your fingers into it, it'll leave an impression and then it'll bounce right back or it'll, you know, the, the indentation will go away. Whereas with the white one, after, over time they get really worn down. And I used to have a small one somewhere and I don't think I have it anymore, but, but they get really worn down and they, uh, they're not very good. And I don't recommend you get a soft foam roller. This is actually fairly dense enough for most people. Uh, for me personally, I find that it's a little soft uh, for most of my body. For some of my body, it's fine. I like this for like using my lats. You know, my terrace major up in here when I'm trying to do some overhead movement. Um, I like it as a stretching tool to stretch out my thoracic spine. But overall, the quality of this is pretty good. I've had this for a few years, and you can probably had this for about five years already. And you can see how it's kind of fraying and chipping. Ah, uh, that's because I have kids, and you know, it gets thrown around and played as a sword sometimes. And these little things will fall off, and it, look, they look like rat poop actually. Uh, if, you, if you just see like a little random styrofoam thing. But anyway, it's sort of a side note. So this is a fairly good foam roller. I think this runs about 20 bucks, which is a fairly good value. I want to say maybe 20. Actually, no, I think it's $30. It's around 29-ish, like high 20s. This is a pretty good value. And there's a link in the description of kind of where you can buy it on Amazon, Amazon link. But I would recommend this. It's a pretty good foam roller to get. The one thing I will say about this particular product or this foam roller is, is that if you foam roll primarily on carpet at home, typically it may not be hard enough or may not be stiff enough. Because if you foam roll at the gym or any facility that you work out at, CrossFit box or um, studio or whatever, you may find that because they have a hard flooring or some sort of rubber flooring, it's much more stiffer to respond against uh, for this foam roll to work better, work more stiff, stiffly, that's even a word. But the idea is that when you're on carpet, this is more soft, and because it's soft, it doesn't have as much pressure. But then again, it depends on what you're rolling out and what muscles you have that are particularly tight. Uh, I don't know what brand this is. I, don't, I think they're fairly generic. And then we move on to some high-end shit. This is a rumble roller. So let's get a little close-up of this bad boy. I like this thing because it's a... This is basically a... Um, how do you say... Creme de la creme. It's just expensive. It's, a, it's, it's like 80 bucks, maybe $75. For, they, have, they have a smaller roller, which you can buy for like 35, 40 bucks. And uh, it's great, but it's not as thick as this. Uh, I think it's a little smaller. I guess they have different, they have different kinds. This is the one I would recommend. Uh, obviously, you get the smaller ones mainly for travel and space maybe. But this is great for a lot of things. I like this. I actually use this a lot more than this roller. This roller is actually used, my wife actually uses this the most. So this is really good. Um, it's still a very good product. This on the other hand is just expensive and um, I think it's worth it. You know, if you, if you use it enough and you get the value out of it. I will say though it is probably not the best commercial grade product meaning that if you have it in a gym, like I had this in a gym for maybe a few days and um, this shit will get beat up. So this is uh, for personal use. Now, I don't think this is really good for commercial gym because these little, these little uh, divots or these uh, kind of these, these little spikes that kind of dig into tight spots. The thing about these is that over time you get someone heavy pressing on them with their body weight over time these will get more soft and, and, and wear out over time. I think it's still a good product though, a rumble roller. So there you go, a little close up. And I think it's a it's a good product. So I, I don't know if, uh, I just think it's a little expensive so for some people this might not be a good purchase or, or it might just be a little bit outside people's price ranges and maybe not necessarily that you can't afford it, it's more like it might be more than what you necessarily need. It's, it's kind of high up there. I like, the one thing that I'll say that the Rumble Roller is better at using than maybe other muscle groups, like, you know, like what I would basically use this roller for, is, uh, 
this is really good for hamstrings, I find, because I can dig into hamstrings really good. And then I also can dig into my lats and thoracic spine a little bit better uh, because it, is, it has the little, the little bumps on them. And they have other ones that are a little bit cheaper, but this one by far is probably the best one of the ones that have the little bumps on them. And then the last one is this bad boy right here. What is this? This, my friends, is a PVC pipe. And you know how much this costs? $12. $12, I think this is probably a sewer pipe or some, something like that. And you can buy it uh, at Home Depot for about $13, $11, somewhere around there. And it's probably the best value you can get out of a foam roller. I will say though, it, is a, it hurts like a bitch because it's freaking stiff as shit. Uh, maybe if you really wanted to, you can, uh, you know, you can wrap uh, something around it, but uh, I don't know. It, it would, if, unless you were really good with your craftsmanship, it might end up being kind of janky. So I don't recommend you do that. Uh, these edges here, though, are kind of sharp. They're not that sharp, but you know, they, they feel sharp. I guess they actually are sharp. I did mine's, I've had this for uh, a few years already, so this one actually, uh, it's probably they've worn down, so they're not nearly as sharp here in the edges. So you might want to put. I had a client. I recommended a client to get one, and she. She put duct tape, she put pink duct tape around there or some sort of tape or electric tape, I think it was, but it worked great. So that way it, it, it wouldn't cut her or scratch, scratch you. Um, this is just so you know, so you can see the camera here. I'll put the little SKU number. I, I, I literally got this at Home Depot. I don't know if that's going to show up good, but I'll read it out just in case it doesn't show up well. It is a uh, four inch by two inch ABS pipe. Um, to say on here yeah cellular core dmv four inch b2-11 i don't know what any of this stuff means but it's a great roller you know just to give you an idea of the size of the diameter in comparison to the standard roller that you may see in other gyms it is definitely smaller well, a little bit smaller in diameter and uh which means it's really even good for travel. This one's perfect. I like this. I actually prefer a roller like this. Like I went to Disneyland and I actually brought this to Disneyland. So I can actually roll. Uh, because the other one that's actually a really good choice too, which I don't have, is the... What was it called? It was called the... Just Trigger TP. It's a TP brand, Trigger Point. Trigger Point brand. It's a small one. I, I'll, I'll point a link or there'll be a picture that I'll post in my editing that you'll be able to see of it. And it's a good product too. I actually would rather... I would like that a lot because it's just a little bit smaller, but I don't know. Just every every tool has its purpose, and because that one's forty bucks and this is twelve dollars, I mean this is just kind of a no-brainer if you want to take care of your your muscle tissue. Uh, this is great for calves, great for quads, uh, not that great for your butt for your piriformis and stuff because it's very stiff. Uh, it can be for your lats, but it's going to make you cry if you have some really tight lats because it hurts triceps man this is freaking hurts like shit so but this is a great product too this is a 13 bucks 12 bucks can't go wrong with this and i highly recommend it uh if i were to compare it i mean it just as value you know some big i'm a big value person i like to get the most for my money and the only time that you really spend a lot of money is if you have to pay for something customized you know like this for example like i said this is totally worth the value only if you use it it's just a little expensive for a lot of people it was a little expensive for me so, I mean, it's all about the use. And if you get the most use out of it, it's great. So when I say this is expensive and why it's worth it, because it's a custom, sort of a custom product. Not everyone's going to want something that looks like a torture device. But, or they want to subject themselves to that kind of pain. In reality, this actually does not feel that bad to me. This is worse because I just have very stiff tissues. But anyways, I have a link in the description for these two rollers. I'll also kind of talk about the TP roller. And I'll talk about the roller that I use, which is actually one of my... Uh, uh, who is it? My, my old manager of mine, uh, district manager of mine, Anthony. Of uh, the name of uh, Anthony's product is called the Fashionator. It's kind of a cool name. You know, destroy the fascia of your body because that's the idea of what foam rolling is. And the cool thing about it is that you get uh, it's it's a roller that's a lot it's a little bit smaller than this, and it's great. I mean, I use it the most because I love it the most. And actually, in the video that I post, I'll post in the description. We'll have. Um, will have me using that roller. It's basically the same thing, but it looks like this, a little smaller, but it looks like it's wrapped with carpet. Uh, and it's perfect. I like it because it's smaller, so it kind of digs into other parts a little bit more effectively. 
sort of like how a lacrosse ball or baseball or softball will be used, but it kind of has a, a, a really good use to it. And I, and I find for me personally, for all the muscle parts that I need to work on, like my IT band, quads, um, calves, it works the best. Uh, so anyways, that's kind of my review. If you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment. If you like this video, please click like. And if, you have, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.